Hi there, welcome to Shopcast number 24. This one is about Kidlin by Louette and also Kirameki by Noro. I remember showing you a while back this, which is a coquille shawl, and this one is knit up in county. Uh, this is a free pattern off of knitty.com, but here is our latest shop sample. And this is delightful and airy and wonderful and soft and oh so very, very drapey. Um, the show and tell that I mentioned last week, uh, made out of the new sea silk, is actually going to be about another week or so before I get it blocked. I've been a little busy this weekend doing some other projects and doing a little bit of traveling, um, which was awesome. But I do have plans to get it onto the blocking board either tonight or tomorrow, and it should be lovely. And I'll show you it then. But this is fabulous. So let me tell you about Kiramaki. Kiramaki is the latest lace weight from Noro. We love them. They're in Japan. Um, they are apparently nowhere near where the uh, horrible things in Japan are happening, so their factory is fine, which is nice. Um, it is 60% rayon, 25% nylon, 10% wool, 5% cashmere, 450 meters for $9.95. So this is actually probably one of the cheaper lace weights that we have. And they're recommending a US 1 or a 2.25 millimeter needle. I don't know which needle this was made on. My guess would be that it was probably in that area, if we take a look at the uh, the fineness of the stockinette stitch section, I would say probably about a two and a half, no no bigger, but I will find out and probably tag notes onto the YouTube video and the Facebook page afterwards, but it's yummy. And we have, wow, that actually worked really well. Uh, we have 10 fabulous colors. Let me see if I can get in better lighting. There we go. So depending on what you like, jewel tones or down to pastels or crazy crayon brights, there is something for you. Okay, and then the other wonderful new yarn I was going to show you is the Louette Kidlin. So this is something that I'm knitting with for my next shop sample. I will show you that in a moment. Check out the colors. Now, most of them are solids, but there are a couple. The red. Can you see the black in there? That is actually black. That's not just shadows and then the green, and the green is a mix of light green and dark green. Here, I'll show you just for contrast. That one's just solid, all the same colors all the way through. But what it is, I'll show you on the green because it's easy to see, is one of the strands is linen and the other one is the kid mohair. And is there also nylon in it? What does it say? Yep, 16% nylon. Nylon's fairly common to be used as a binder for mohair because mohair is slippery and will tend to escape if it's just um, spun up with itself, but the nylon is some... I don't know how, but somehow the nylon and the mohair work well together to keep the mohair from sliding out, and it's a very, very common binder, so you usually won't see something that's 100% mohair, it's usually mohair plus nylon. Anyway, this stuff is cool. Uh, details, it takes a 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter needle to get five stitches. It also looks awesome on a bigger needle, and I'll show you the sample that I'm making in a second. Uh, for $14, you get 250 yards or 228 meters. They call it a lace weight. We're kind of using it at more of a worsted weight sort of thing, but realizing that when you do knit it that large, it will be see-through. Um, we haven't done it on tiny, tiny lace needles yet, but I'm guessing it would be fairly solid. So let me show you what I'm working on. Uh, the pattern is called Askew. Askew. Here we go, by Lisa Mulch. Uh, we bought it off Ravelry after seeing it on some people's favorites page. It's kind of your traditional triangular shawl. It, but it starts at the bottom, and you can see it does this really funky little curve thing. And that's where I'm just at. I've just finished the bottom shaping. There. And you can see it heading off. And the very cool thing about what she's doing is she's got garter stitch on one side, so the row gauge on this side of garter stitch is a little bit shorter, which makes it scrunch and kind of pull, and then stocking stitch on the other side, which is knit on one side and purl on the back side. And it is stretching out, so automatically you have this doing this length and scrunch thing. Um, the way she's doing her increases also help the curve build that way. Um, and it's really fascinating. Anyway, I'm loving this fabric. It is slightly crunchy, and yet still quite kind of light and delightful and pretty good against your skin. If you don't have a problem with mohair against your skin, like if you like kid silk haze, if you're good with mountain mohair, this will be fine. 
Um, if it is a bit of a problem for your neck, you might think about doing something a little like more like a wide open boat neck or a shawl that you wear lower on your shoulders during the summer. But it's really, really cool. I'm having a fun time knitting with it. It's like you can sort of see it's already stretching out and I haven't done any blocking at all. The center line is holding itself very happily just like that. And I haven't done anything to make these eyelets show off any more than that. So it's a cool yarn. Um, I think if you are if you're familiar with Habu yarns, they're from Japan as well. Um, we've heard a lot about them in terms of their mixtures of stainless steel and wool, or stainless steel and silk, or stainless steel and uh, oh wait, what's the one I have? I have some copper and bamboo from my trip to Japan a couple of years ago, and they're also doing like interesting papery things. But their designs would be very suited to using with this yarn. And the other people on Ravelry who are designing for Habu yarns, like Coco Knits is one. Um, they've been tending to do a lot of work of interesting yarns on larger gauges. I think this stuff would be really, really suitable for that. So I'll see if I can find a couple interesting projects and I'll add them into the tags at the end of this video podcast, which is short today. I'm still kind of getting over the throat thing and I have a couple things to do before class tonight, but I figured I would come in and tell you about all of these lovely new yarns. Um, what else? We have our hemp, all six, that's the DK weight hemp has been restocked in all the summer colors, including three new ones. I will show them to you next week. We don't have our fingering in yet. Uh, we have some linen still on its way. We're waiting for the multicolors. And I think that's it for new stuff right now, but maybe, hopefully I'll have something new to show you next week. Okay, uh, if you have questions or feedback, if there's something you'd like to request for a future podcast, let me know. You can reach us on our Facebook page, Three Bags Whole Canada or as 3BF on Twitter, or drop lines on our YouTube page if you're watching us there, or on the blog, or drop by and talk to me. I'm here on Mondays and Thursdays, or you could leave a note for me on other days if you're in the shop then. Uh, we are open seven days a week. You can find us online at 3 All right, have a good week. I'll talk to you soon.